Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be continuing The Devil in Me. This is part two of the series. Make sure you go check out Man of Medan and uh, House of Ashes. I completed those. This is the third one I've done. Um, unfortunately, if you haven't already checked the last couple that I've said this, um, I could not play Little Hope. Unfortunately, maybe I will eventually. I don't know why. It wasn't working on Steam, so maybe... I have to buy on another website or something. If I do, let me know if it works. Because I was having the hardest time at like the, what was it, the dart. Yeah, we were playing darts and it just would not let me hit any of the buttons. None of the buttons will work. I've tried canceling the game, going back on, deleting it. You know, that's it. Okay, let's move on. So yeah, we are going to be playing The Devil and Me again. Uh, last time was pretty interesting. We met uh, Holmes. Uh, what was his name? Something. I forget his first name. He's a serial killer. I don't know if maybe an ancestor is going to take his place as the killer. Or somehow he's going to come back from the dead to kill people. I don't know. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a serial killer still. But I'm sure we'll find out a little bit more in this episode. But yeah, let's just hop right into it. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. And let's go. Oh, I, okay. Trying to remember. Okay, she faked a little injury to get away from the group. Okay. Let me see if I can remember her name. I'm believe I believe uh, her name is Jamie. Oh, uh, what's this girl name that I'm using? Is it Carly? No. Oh frick! I forgot. Uh, it's gonna take me a little bit. Hey, can I ask you something and get a straight answer? You know, you know, you making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me? That works both ways. Fine. Uh, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. There's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. Hold on, let me do something. You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not gonna save our asses. I gotta fix something. Alright, um... I was just putting my mouse on the charger. It's almost dead. So. Keep oh, private properly. Okay. So if we go this way then. I forgot we can run. We can we run. Scramble. They run like robots. Du, 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 du. Oh, I remember in the last episode, freaking, I got scared by a mannequin. <laughs> uh. Okay, what's over here? Nothing. Cool. Get out of my way, bro. Okay. to dress for a trek. <clears throat> Try not to fall and die. I don't want to see Mark cry. Thanks for the concern. Really. Not bad. live out here on this island Shh, get down with your family my wife is she died <sighs> mr dumet is this an actual palm tree 
Was this shipped into the island? I... I don't think so. Surprise it didn't make us do that, like keeping your uh, heartbeat down or whatever. You think that would have been a perfect time to do it, to be honest. That's not creepy. If I wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. This reminds me of shit summer camps. Too slow. Okay. If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. You see oh the boy. control panel? It's trashed. I don't even think there's power. I figured there had to be a way to get over there. What about over there? Maybe we can get this thing working. We gotta figure out this part. Yay. Jamie, can you fix this? about that K 
Kate. Okay, Kate, Jamie. Jamie, Kate. Got it. they would want to come here this is a creepy place imagine what it's gonna be like when we're inside and it's dark wonder what these are warning hazardous subject subject I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. You found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Gumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Coming or what? Uh-huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. Oh, shit! We're all gonna die! God, relax, Mark. Oh, that serious drop. You good? Oh, man. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it, though? I shouldn't have looked. It's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. Mm, yeah, ish. Come on. I'll help. That's it. Look, it's fine. I'm not looking. <laughs> Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people.
Yes, wow. Mr. Dumas, this place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Mm, no, it won't be, that's for sure. It just might be your last weekend. Hello. Wonder who you are. Oh, that's not creepy. What are you doing? I I saw a little girl. Up there. Said it before, I'll say it again. Little girls in these types of games, movies, or whatever are always the creepiest. I'm just saying. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, sure, bro. This isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. Mr. Dumas, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I feel like I Dumas is the uh, the killer. <laughs> I told you. I feel like we got brought here so he can kill us. Just saying. I could be wrong. It could be someone that we haven't met yet, but I think within a couple episodes, I'm gonna try to guess who the killer might be. But as of right now, I think there's a high chance it's the Demet guy. Oh, there you are. Busy, busy, busy. You've been out in a bottle day. And I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day and not a word from you. Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Yeah, Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um... It's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. OK. OK. Good luck out there. Sorry. Don't get lost. Just got a text. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes. Thanks. Honestly, I don't I'd blame you. Lost, probably. It's, it's just a haul, dude. Here we are. Well, it's um 
cozy? Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Uh, gross school? What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows where you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't, cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Ugh. I know. Where'd it go? Uh, it's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. <coughs> you trying to scare me now? No. Revenge? Because good job. Asthma, okay. You sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I... I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it. Dust and allergies, and I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Cozy. <laughs> you gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's... Picon. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. <laughs> and I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat socks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> you are such a liar. <laughs> oh, sorry. The wine is trash. Totally lied about that. Really? Uh-huh. Sorry, what I said earlier. I didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just... We work together, and... Charlie is always on me about being more professional and... I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Or that I don't think you're cute, too. It's just, um... I guess. Oh. What are you doing? Denied. Uh, oh, I, uh... I... <laughs> oh, you... Bitch! 
I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Oh, okay, that's gonna have an effect on someone oh, later on. Sorry, sorry. Who is that? Charlie, you just standing there trying to listen in? What? No. No, I was just about to knock. What do you want? Did I, did I interrupt something? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me 10, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. OK, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. <sighs> to be continued, then? Yes. Are you okay? Sorry, just checking on my dog. Sounded like he was Definitely. crying. Good luck finding your rooms. <clears throat> come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. Where the hell are they going? Did he just leave? Oh, this was a trap. Maybe he's not the killer. Maybe he wanted to lure us to the killer. <sighs> We're screwed. wanted you to have this breaking down walls navigating the maze of anxiety are you fucking kidding me i think she thought it might help with your stress or... absolutely not i'm not stressed okay do i look fucking stressed uh that was rhetorical well your cards came out nice enough oh yeah embossing makes a huge difference you old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Oh, he can use Damn. his cards to unlock. I should have had one ready for Mr. Drawers. Cool. I like how they all have Could their kind of like them? unique I, thing. No. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <gasps> Jesus. Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. That blue bag, front pocket. I made a specific mental note of it. 
They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I, I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. I can see her doing that, too. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. The scope of this place is... I can't believe we've lucked into this. Are you worried it will make our other episodes look cheap? They are cheap. Can't be helped. This will be the one that people remember. The one that wins an Emmy? Exactly. That's the spirit. Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. You think we'll get another season? Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly, and I'll make sure you keep working. Sound good? Uh, sure. Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that I'm missing and not our gear. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Yeah, or he's on his way back to the other side.
Okay, where the frick would a key be? Probably out here, I'm assuming, right? somewhere okay I have no idea where this key could be. I gotta be around here somewhere, right? Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Hello? Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What would be, Mr. Dumas, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. Figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Barman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Oh, how about that? Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Yes! Yes! Oh, of course it wants exact change. Damn it! Oh, that's a bad idea. Yeah, I don't like this idea.
Next round's on me. Promise. Whoever the killer is, it looks like they yes. love uh, Anakin. Come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <sighs> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? That... That is creepy. <laughs> It kind of looked like that Holmes guy. Hey. So maybe he did come back. Intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah. If we get it shot and in the back, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. I turned down that job because that would have left you alone with Charlie. How cruel do you think I am? I'm being serious. So am I. Fine. I'll drop it. Great. Let me grab the camera. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. Before we... Look, can I say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. No, you're right. I, am. Um, you're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> yeah, okay. Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's... Mm, smart plan. 
You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. No, just saying. Might as well practice, I guess. I was worried you'd be sleepy on the... Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Did you not just go in his room? Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? No answer. Noise. So if to make cat shit, <laughs> let's get the fuck out of me. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who. Loot There's got to be a way through. This wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Well, Looks like Demet is trying pictures. to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Rod is gonna set in. Right. That's it. What? Since we got Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? Taking a survey, you try to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He said... Is this guy real? I keep hearing... It. I heard something that he was a real killer. I want to look it up real quick. You probably can't really... There. Yep. He's a real guy. Cool that they actually based it kind of off a true story. Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. Old house. Island beaches with dead fish. Animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell.
your head down. Ooh, they're spying on us. Frick, can he pull that? This should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back. Oh, now I gotta move that over there, okay. Oh, 
Just come on. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Oh, is that, that must be, yeah, that must be from that girl at the beginning who got her neck slit or whatever. Okay, check this out. It's oh. his hat. Who? H.H. H. Holmes. <laughs> Fuck! You okay? Oh, oh my God. I just, <laughs> this fucking thing popped out of nowhere. How it didn't get me that time. See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. <laughs> Mickey has a point. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. You didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. The rest of us are tired of watching you guys fight. And I'm tired of having those fights. He's just jealous. Jealous? Yeah, he doesn't like that I'm the one getting invited on to talk show. You mean talk show. But point is, I'm the one people see on screen, so they want to talk to me, and he's being a baby about it. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you're... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? He told her that learning from him was its own reward. A piece of shit. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. <laughs> Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lawn at Entertainment. I guess I thought we'd move on together, like a team. Mark, look, this isn't your passion. It's just a job for you until you get your name out there as a photographer. You can't expect... I know. I hate this shitty documentary stuff. Charlie has got a clue about how to frame a shot, let alone tell a story. And get on with it. You're right. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonnet Entertainment. And Lonnet Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonnet employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That 
That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour Mark. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait, what, why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just... Left. You're sure? Can't be. Yeah, Mr. I got Mr. it. I can't. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leave to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Mm. Oh, God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? That explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well. Here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> now, I would like to toast all of you. Really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail?
thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure. If we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need, and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. 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 Now this is definitely gonna be a creepy game. Especially with the mannequins? Like, come on. I think we are gonna end it right there oh um, it's definitely starting to get a little bit more creepy we haven't really had uh, anything really bad yet but I feel like in the next one it will probably be pretty bad let me go full screen but yeah uh, those, those mannequins are really freaky I can't wait to see what happens in the next one if you want to see what happens in the next one make sure you subscribe to time post on occasion so you know when part 3 comes out and I will see you in the next one peace <laughs>